I'm not exactly sure how I want to explain this, so it might be kind of random and all over the place, this explanation. So people keep asking me what MMR is, which you can Google, but I guess I'm going to try and make it very, very simple. So you have your rank, which would be, let's just say, bronze three. And then you would have an MMR that would be like a number associated. So back then, before there was bronze three and bronze two or whatever, back then League of Legends had a point system. So they would have, to be platinum, you had to have 2000 points. Now they change it to this like layers of like platinum four, platinum three, platinum two. But back then there was no platinum four, platinum three, platinum two. It was just gold, platinum, whatever. And you just had to reach certain milestones. So 2000 to 2400 would be platinum or something. I don't remember the numbers specifically, but this is just, you know, for the idea. Or diamond would be 2,401 to 2,800 or whatever. But because they moved it back, they moved it to this bronze three, bronze two or whatever, there would be a number associated with this. So let's just say, for example, uh, actually we'll do bronze one. Let's just say bronze one, the, the number is 1,000. That's roughly the, the point or the MMR that you have. So people ask me like, is, a, is there a possible way for you to increase your MMR or whatever? Yeah, you just win. You literally just have to win and that's it. So sometimes ask, people ask me like, or not even ask me, but they'll rant about like, some games I lose 13, but like when I win, so when I win, I only win 13, but when I lose, I lose 17 points. Like that's just so unfair. It's so unlucky. Like this is just like, why does it make, why is this a thing? It doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't make it does it does make sense. It's not it's not a mystery and it's not like League of Legends or Riot is trying to like conspire against you. Let's just say for season 10, you lost a lot of games. For season 10, you lost 100 games, but you only won 50 games. Let's just say you win 50 games and you lost 100. So that means you lost 50 games more than you lost, uh, sorry, more than you won, right? Actually, maybe I, sh I should do this. 50 win slash 100 loss. So obviously you have to make up a lot of, you have to make up 50 games, right? But let's just say this was in season 10 and now it's season 11. Season 11, you have zero wins and zero loss. And then you start winning. You want you win one game. You win one game, but you only gain like 12. And then you lost a game. You lost a game. And then you lost 20. And you're like, but that's so unfair. I won a game. Like, I deserve the ALP. Where did it go? But you didn't deserve the ALP. You don't deserve to gain 20 points. Why? Because you lost 50 points. Uh, you lost 50. You lost 100 games and only won 50 games last season. You still have to make up that all that MMR that you you lost. So your rank might be bronze one or whatever, but your MMR is still behind. It's still not great. Like let's just say if this is the 50 win 100 loss and your MMR is a thousand, but the standard MMR, let's just say the standard MMR is meant to be around what 1,500. You're actually behind 500 MMR. You need to make up that 500 MMR that the rest of the Bronze One players are at. So you, that's why the system gives you less points and makes you lose more points because you actually lost more. So it's not unfair. Another, the flip side of that could be some people like, how did this person win 20 games? Like for me, I got to Grandmaster on my Soraka um, account. Some people were saying like, you win, you win 20 points, but you only lose 12. How is that possible? Like, why do you get to get 20 points and only lose around 12? That's so unfair, like, or whatever. But it's not unfair because what happened was in season seven or whatever, let's just say, I was, I was around Grandmaster or Master. I don't remember which season or whatever. 
Oh, actually, no, season nine. Season nine, I was Grandmaster. I was Grandmaster in season nine. But then I stopped playing. I stopped playing at, the, at season nine. So this is when I came back from Overwatch. Like I, I quit Overwatch. I came back to League of Legends and I got to Grandmaster. And then I stopped playing. And then when season 10 came along, I didn't really play. And because I didn't really play, I was Diamond 4. My MMR, I don't know what number you could associate that with, but I guess it doesn't really matter what an number, like MMR. So in, oh, actually I wasn't season four, but I was like more like season diamond one or whatever, or diamond two, but that's because I didn't play. I played like only like 10 games. I only played like 10 games and called it a day. I gain more points and lose less points. Thank you for the Scissor Poke Miner because the system still remembers Laughing that I'm actually meant to be Grandmaster. It was just like a ranked reset when the, ch the season rolled over that they put me in Diamond 4. So that's why I gain like, for, for a win, if I got to get one win, I would gain like 30 plus, 30 points for a win. And if I were to lose, I would only lose like five or six or whatever. Because when I was Diamond 4 or in the new season, it was trying to catch me back up to Grandmaster where I belong. There is a person, so I made this video, you just have to Google it. Luminum rank one Jana EUS. You just have to watch this video using the rank one Jana build. Or you can watch someone else's channel, Happy Chime Noises, how a Jana solo queued to rank one challenger. I'm just gonna explain it very briefly what happened. This rank one Jana player, yes, he did reach rank one, 1,500 LP in challenger, playing Jana only, no one else, or Jana. He was staying purposely in diamond one. And when he went into masters, he gained 30 points and he only lost three. He gained 30 points a win and lost only three points when he lost. And no, I am not joking with those numbers. He actually got 30 wins, 30 plus points for a win, and 30 only minus three when he lost. But how did he do that? Where well, it's simple, because when he was in Diamond 1, you have your promos, you have your promos, you have five games. He won twice, and then he would dodge. He would dodge his promos into Masters. He didn't lose, he dodged. So he would click the X button in champ select. Well, why would he dodge? Well, let's just say his MMR at Diamond 1 was 3000. And let's just say that's kind of typical of Diamond 1. And maybe, I don't know, 4000 is Challenger or something, who knows. But because he was winning, he'd be win if he wins a game, he gets maybe like 20 MMR here. He wins again, he gets another 20 MMR. But when he dodges, his MMR is still 340. So he's purposely staying in Diamond 1. He's still Diamond 1, but then he'll do it again. He wins, he wins, he dodges, he dodges, he dodges. So what happens then? He wins, and then his MMR is now 360, uh, 3060. He wins again, now he is 3080. But then he dodges, and then he's 3080, 3080, 3080. So his MMR is increasing, but he's still Diamond 1. It's not tricking... Well, it is kind of tricking the system, but this isn't like some trick like he abused the system. He's still winning, and as he's playing, so in this 3000 MMR region, he is resting around Diamond Wands. But let's just say he keeps doing this technique, and let's just say his MMR is around 3500. He is now versing Masters slash Grandmaster players. He's not versing Diamond 1 players. Even though he is still stuck in Diamond 1 because he's dodging his primaries, he isn't still in diamond one uh, he isn't playing versus diamond ones he's versing around masters and grandmasters so when people are saying like he's abusing the system he's not he's still winning against grandmasters and masters players up until when he gets into 
you know, challengers, let's just say it's like 4,000 his MMR, he is still versing challenger players and still winning against challenger players. And so when he finally decides to be like, hey, I want to now climb to challenger, he is in diamond one and, you know, with 4,000 4, MMR, let's just say, and then he wins, 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 and now he's masters, right? So let's just say now he's in masters, but he is now 4,060 because of, you know, 2020, 20, let's just say. But this isn't normal for masters, right? Masters was the typical masters player. The typical masters player has around maybe like 3,100. So he has an extra... 1,000 or 900 points over your average, your normal Masters player. So that's why when he wins a game, he wins 30 LP, but when he only, when he loses, he only loses 3 LP because the system is trying to catch up, make this Jana player catch up to where he actually belongs, which is in Challenger, where it's 4,000 points. So that's how the MMR system works. If you want another analogy, it's kind of like this. Let's just say I had a job and my job paid me $2,000 a month. So $2,000, $2,000 a month. But let's just say in, so if I were to work for two months, so let's just say like Jan and Feb February, I should make $4,000, right? I should make $4,000. Or you could say $500 a week. But let's just say on January, I said, okay, to, to my boss, I said, I'm going to work all of January, but I want you to hold on to my money. I won't take the money. I want you to hold on to the $2,000. So I obviously made like $0 like on January, right? I made two, $0, but that's just me not holding on to that $0. The boss hold, held on to it's the boss that held on to $2,000. I'm still owed $2,000. So then when I finally work on February and I say, okay, I want my money that I deserved on January plus the normal $2,000 on that month, rather than getting $500 per week, so four weeks, $2,000, instead I'm getting $1,000 per week on February, but that's only because it's the $500 of February plus the $500 of the January that I didn't take from my boss, right? I'm still owed that $500 from January. I'm just now getting more this week or this month. And so four weeks, four weeks times $1,000 equals $4,000, which is what I, which is what I deserve. I didn't increase my money, I didn't abuse the system, I just got what I deserved. And that's exactly what this Jana player did. He didn't abuse the system, he got what he deserved. And it goes back to the bronze player. This bronze one player being like, oh my god, I lost I lost a game and lose 20 points and I win a game and I win 12 points. Like what's going on? Like the MMR is just fucked, my, ch my account is cursed. Like this is so unfair, do I need to make a new account? That's what she deserves. No, oh the, it's not cursed. You have, you still had to owe the game 50 wins because you lost 50, you lost a hundred ga games and you only won 50. You still needed to owe those 50 wins. That's why the system is giving you less points for a win and more points on a loss, like taking away more points on a loss. Now, sometimes some people be like, well, what one game I won 15 and then another game I won 20. And what's up with that? Well, if you were like a bronze one player and let's just say you were playing in an average game of bronze one, then you let's just say you won plus 15 on that game. Okay. But what if you're bronze one still? But then on average, you were playing around silver three. Maybe your teammates were slightly higher and the enemy team was slightly higher. That's why the MMR and the rank of the game is average at silver three. You, if, if you were to win, 
you should get around maybe like plus 17 or plus 18 or whatever. Why? Because you're winning in a game that's slightly higher than your than your own rank. Or conversely, like if you were bronze one and you were playing in a bronze four game, and assuming if you like lost 15, like let's just say if you plus plus or minus 15, win or lose. So now you're playing in a bronze four game. You are actually, you, the bronze one player, you're higher than the bronze four game lobby in general on average. So if you were to lose, instead of losing 15, maybe you lose 20 because this was not a game that you should have lost. Like you were higher ranked slightly than the rest of the team. So you should have had a slight edge like you should have been able to carry more or whatever and that's how the system that's why the system gives you more points or less points like it's not unfair like oh i lost 20 points because some games you will win more points you would win maybe 20 points on your silver three games or whatever right so that's this is like the whole mmr thing that people keep having like confusion about it's really not like the system is like conspiring against you like these people deserve where they got like this jana player that did this win win dodge 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 he didn't abuse a system he deserved challenger because he was playing against challengers and he won against challengers and that's on period so sometimes people ask me like should i just create a new account like yeah you can kind of create a new account but if you create a new account and you can play and your MMR, like let's just say you're playing with like bad habits and you're making a lot of mistakes and you're suddenly your MMR has now tanked to 1000 because you repeat the same thing, then it doesn't really matter because you repeated the same stuff. Like now you're back to 50 wins and 100 lost. Like the game wasn't cursing you. You just lost games and that's on period. And no, it doesn't take into consideration your teammates. It doesn't matter your KDA. It doesn't matter anything it just matters if you win or lose i'm pretty sure because otherwise if it were just purely kda then people would just be well actually i'm not i'm not too sure about the kda thing because if, if it's all just if it's about kda then people would just play safer but that's not really true like people with like higher kda doesn't mean they technically like get more lp or whatever it could be like a bunch of things like how much you ward or like warding score or whatever like it could be many things i'm not too sure but this is just like the general gist of mmr if anyone's wondering again who that jana player was you can watch my using the rank one jana build i was using their build or whatever or you can watch this video which you probably this one is this one goes over the history more so how a jana solo queued to rank one challenger his name is apocalypse on happy chime noises channel and there we go that's my ted talk thank you